on his way. There. Hey, look at that! Have you ever seen anything like that? And here comes Hurt. He's got some people on the pitch. They think it's all over. It is now. Hello and welcome to a very special edition of They Think It's All Over. Featuring the top 30 moments ever from 10 series of the show. Some of them are quite recent and some of them date back to the days when Gary and I had brown hair, when David had white hair, <laughs> and when Rory was a sylph like 23 stone, and when Jonathan was a staring eyed bald cockney with a taste for smut. <laughs> so some things don't change. Here we go with the countdown, starting with number 30. One thing that does strike me as being quite sad is so many Brazilians would think of Ronaldo are known only by the one name. <laughs> And that's a terrible thing, and we take for granted the fact that we have two names. <laughs> and you know, there may well be some people watching who even have three names. <laughs> and he's Van Outen, Good Van Nisselroy. Some people, Jean-Claude Van Damme, have four names. <laughs> so I'm asking you if you have a spare name. <laughs> You and I, we can give those kids a surname. <laughs> Sally Gunnell. Which part? Which part? Which part? No, all of it. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to announce Roger Black's retirement from the British Olympic team. <laughs> can we have our next mystery personality, please? Second start now. <laughs> it's huge, it's my overdraft. <laughs> oh my god, he's chewing a squirrel. <laughs> Was that you, Eddie, behind him, as usual? No, I must be a little bit behind him. What's she like? Mm, she's she's an arsehole, that guy. Yeah, I know he is. <laughs> well, what about Schumacher? What's he like? Is he...? He's, he's German, isn't he? <laughs> OK. <laughs> you always have to come second to Michael Schumacher. I mean, if you pull a bird in a discotheque... Oh, I always beat him at that. <laughs> So you take, take her back to the hotel room, she strips off, she's lying on the bed, you say, I'd like to introduce you to Michael Schumacher, he'll be coming first. <laughs> One minute! Look, what's happening? <laughs> so, uh... Where are we allowed to train? Just, Dave, Dave. What? Where are you? I can't what? believe this. I'm lying down next to a woman and she's <laughs> real. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you told me a Beckham joke. He told me a very funny Beckham joke, didn't you, Gary, before the show? Mm. I'm not telling it here. Yeah, go on. <laughs> Come on, Gary. Come on. The boys and girls want to hear it, don't you? <laughs> How you really want to hear it is from Rory because uh, he tells it so beautifully. <laughs> Beckham and Posh have been in New York for the weekend. They're coming back from Heathrow in the cab. They're sitting in the back of the cab and the cab says, well, what have you been up to then, Mr Beckham? He says, oh, I just came from New York. I a long weekend in New York. And, uh, <laughs> says, well, what do you get up to there then? He says, oh, I do a bit of shopping and uh, uh, some sightseeing and I'll eat in this great restaurant. And the cab says, oh, what's it called? And he goes, um, oh, what's it called, that restaurant? Oh. Name a, a, um, a London railway station. Houston? No, 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 no. Uh, Paddington? No, 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 no. Victoria? Yeah, that's it. Victoria, what's the name of that restaurant? <laughs> Oh, 
Did you see that about Ron Atkinson's house getting burgled? Yep. By the way, the other Terrible. week. Terrible. Brilliant. I <laughs> Personally, no. no. His wife was was she tied up for tied up for fourteen hours or something? Yeah. That'll teach you to invite Frank Boff around for dinner, won't it? <laughs> <laughs> I, did, I was going to say, I didn't see the point in raiding his, in Ron Atkinson's house when he wasn't there, because he wears all of his time. <laughs> OK, Gary, Rory and Gabby, your goal comes from the all-important cup tie between Shrewsbury and Scunthorpe at Gay Meadow. Here's possibly a chance. Richard Scott. Oh, that's a delightful lob. Richard Scott's done it for Shrewsbury. Are they all doing an impression of Mrs Ron Atkinson trying to get to the phone? <laughs> OK, blindfolds on? Yep. In you come, Vinny. Like, pretend we don't know. Okay, act. Good idea. Okay. <laughs> okay, you have 90 seconds in which to guess. 90 seconds in which to guess if this is Victor Abudu. <laughs> Soft, it's soft. They're, They're hairy lab. fruits, that's why they call it. That big lab isn't soft, but our team is... <laughs> what? A big lab. Yeah. Nah. What's his name? He's a puff. Puff. Is he? He's a puff. Lamu. He's a big puff. Do you reckon... Uh... <laughs> <He's> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so let me just say this. In fact, let me take that back. Chris Eubank said, no, no, Chris, no, 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 no. Can we have our first mystery guest, please? <laughs> it's an object. <laughs> Is it Tigger? <laughs> Tigger. <laughs> Tigger. Oh, yes. Oh, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, what it, have yeah. you done to deserve this? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Stop it. Oh. Oh. Not today, <laughs> Gary. <laughs> okay, let's go. It's okay. time. <laughs> What was that plan? It was to calm his nerves of the players, Glenn Odell put on the CD of hymns. No, in English, in English, Frank. I don't care. I won the World Cup. That's right. <laughs> when he appeared as a guest on this programme, Frank humorously gave the same answer to every question. I don't care. I won the World Cup. That's right. <laughs> According to Frank, it was meant to be funny, but I came across as arrogant. I didn't realise how it would come across, but Gary Lineker said it would be fine. <laughs> <laughs> the time starts now, and you get... Uh, go on, Go on, Cat Weasel! Go on, Captain! Come on, Cat Weasel! Go on, Captain! Go on, Captain! Go on, Captain! Go on, Go on, Gary, come on! Pull his mask off! Have a look at this. <laughs> well, there's a man who should yes, get out so more. <laughs> okay, so what was all that about? Yeah, well, it's gurneying. That's what it's called, gurneying. 
Gurning. Yeah. 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 Gurning. Yeah. Gurning. You Gurning. stick it up something and you pull a funny face. Yeah. Well, it's about the only sport you'll be able to see that isn't on Sky soon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and you're the sports minister. Yes, when you're the sports minister. I bet you've got Sky. I bet you've got Sky. Answer the question. It just so happens that. Oh, friend before we go there, you know what I was just. Shut up! Get you! A friend of mine was in a phone box the other day and he found this. I'm not ashamed. I called this bloke <laughs> and he couldn't get his tongue around his arse. <laughs> <Could he? laughs> what we really want to know is did he manage to get both your bollocks in his mouth? <laughs> and can we have our second mystery guest, please? horrifying picture for you, <laughs> featuring none other than our own Rory McGrath. <laughs> <laughs> I always wondered how they worked, Kermit. <laughs> <laughs> I was just looking at that, Rory. Surely a tadpole would have been enough. <laughs> when I put it on, it was a tadpole. <laughs> Have you just followed through? Have you followed through? Nice one, Tuffers. <laughs> Tuffers, you must see things like this all the time, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got out with the fairy prince and it turned midnight and that's what happened. <laughs> Did you buy the drugs from a dyslexic drug dealer? You use for amphetamines and he give you amphibians. <laughs> Or has he got a terrible croak habit? <laughs> Is this a frog wearing a Rory McGrath rucksack? <laughs> there are so many who use you to get publicity. That ugly bastard Rory McGrath. And you can print that, because that's putting it mildly. Every week he rips us to pieces. I am serious about what I do. I can sing, I can write songs, and I work bloody hard at it. Whereas Rory McGrath is just a prick. I think we should let Rory have Can I just say how upset I was by that? In fact, I've been so upset, posh, since you said that, that I haven't been able to eat. <laughs> Well, you know, I think she's, I think she's, it's like when kids at playground, you know, they, and you throw stones at the girl, you're like, I think she fancy I think you. so, yeah. I definitely, when someone calls you an ugly bastard and a prick, I think, hello. Green <laughs> light, move over, David. <laughs> I wanted to say how proud I am of everyone on the show this week for not going for the obvious and going on and on about Linford's lunchbox, because Linford, <laughs> I know, like me, you're cursed with an extraordinary large Hampton. <laughs> Just because we are fantastically well endowed, there's no need to keep going on and on about it. We don't go on about David's withered stump. <laughs> we're not endlessly tiring food. We're not, we're not endlessly going on about Rory's tiny strawberry or the small mushroom that Gary's trying to grow in his pants, do we? <laughs> so why don't you leave those of us who happen to have the enormous sausage <laughs> alone and in peace to pleasure the ladies <laughs> as only we can. <laughs> I hope you approve, Linford. I'm speaking for all of us brothers. <laughs> brothers of the long sword. Now, all those women didn't say you had a big prick, they said you were one. <laughs> 
before becoming the head of uh, FIFA, before becoming the head of FIFA, <laughs> same geezer wrote this. Yeah, I know, it's right. typed. It's typed, yeah. And before. <laughs> No, before's a big word. <laughs> now after you want to worry about <laughs> <laughs> So you're what, cricket, and is this meant to be Lord someone then? Possibly. Well, we've got Lord Cowdery, obviously not him because he's got a moustache and... Ugh. <laughs> Oh. I've had all the clues it is, I'm going in fact, to have. David. Unbelievable. You're a <laughs> lord. <laughs> oh. Oh. I'll tell you what, you can read that in Debrett's How to Meet a Knight of the Realm. <laughs> You're not a f lord. <laughs> Imagine you going for a night. <laughs> You're not the f queen. And your ninety seconds start now. And there goes Mansell, Murray Walker. Oh, oh, Grant, why are you doing this to me? Oh, oh, oh. You know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, quite sure, Ray. Uh, Liverpool won. Arsenal did. David uh, Coleman. Uh, correct. Uh, and there he goes again. The bloke I just mentioned. Well, Murray, Murray Walker. No, the driver. Uh, Mansell. 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 <laughs> Oh, oh, hello, 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 and to make, make the middle. 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 Hello. Hello. I'm, I'm the nicest man in the world, and I'm sitting over there next to the hairy one. Oh, okay. uh, 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 I don't know the voice, but same. Jimmy, Jimmy Hill. Hill. Yeah. Uh, uh, ow! Tennis player. Tennis player. Big tits. Gaza. He's on last week. Chris Agabusi. M M M M Bill Bill. All in Hughes. All in Hughes. Small, that's the small. No, I've, I've got more. Emily swims. Oh, I've got Duncan Goodyear. Uh, uh, oh, oh. <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy Greaves. <laughs> Jimmy Greaves. It almost certainly is, Jonathan. <laughs> and you can start feeling now. Can I take me with on? <laughs> She's a bit hairy. <laughs> I think it's a fat bloke smoking a small cigar. <laughs> <laughs> Is this what it's come to? Oh, my Christ! Well, <laughs> what is this? It's like an arse. It's an arse, isn't it? Oh, Christ, I think it's a bloke. It's a bloke, sir. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I remember it's going on. It's the smell of a man! <laughs> it's the smell of a man's arse! I didn't agree to this! <laughs> How do we settle this one? Well... Gary, do you recognise this? Yes, I think it looks like Gary Lineker's this soccer quiz book. This is indeed Gary Lineker's soccer quiz book. <laughs> written, allegedly, by <laughs> Gary Lineker. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to ask you a question, a question <laughs> from your book. <laughs> if you get it right, or if I say you get it right, your side wins. If you get it wrong, David's side wins. Is that fair? What about um, the David Gower oh, book oh, of yeah. cricket questions? Don't we get that out? Well, maybe that'll happen That's another time, Clever Clogs. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's just down here. <laughs> OK, Gary, this is your question from your book that you wrote. Of course. 
Who was the Airdrie captain? <laughs> who missed the 1992 Scottish Cup final after being booked for pulling a face in the semi-final. Well, that's easy. Yeah. Because I wrote that book. Well, that was actually the page that was done by the researcher. <laughs> <laughs> and if was... there is so much as one question in here you uh, didn't write, you're a cheat and a charlatan. <laughs> well, I, think I wrote was... the questions, I didn't do the answer. <laughs> OK, Gary, what's the answer to that question? It's, um, Mr McTaggart. <laughs> <laughs> what? You don't mean Jock McTaggart, do you? <laughs> no, that is incorrect. David Gower is this week's winner. <laughs> I've got a copy of Monday's Telegraph, and it's a big uh, feature on David Gower. Laid-back Gower plays it for laughs. <laughs> Have a look at that. Right? <laughs> Sit down. OK. Let me just read you from this and see if you think he's describing the same David Gower sitting next to me. This bloke, Robert Phillip, who, I think, has a little thing for you. <laughs> David Gower could have been a Bernini sculpture. As handsome as Apollo, as heroic as Achilles, as flighty as Mercury. To gaze upon Gower with willow in hand was to stand before a wondrous work of Venetian marble. <laughs> I mean, the bloke who was, I think he had his willow in his hand at the time. <laughs> I'm just going to read the finishing paragraph. David Gower comes with countless adjectives. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you a minute to fill some of your own in. Majestic, magnificent, mercurial, wow. maddening, take your pick. I think he, he missed an R out in the last one there. <laughs> We're laughing about it now, but when you find yourself lying down, trussed up with duct tape and with his cock up your heart, <laughs> You can't say I didn't warn you. I can't give you the points this it's time. scanned. You can't give us the points? Hang on. It's scanned, OK? No. Dum. You can't give us the points? No. <laughs> 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 Was that you, Ian? No. I'm being pelted. It's What's like... going on? His things come in. What's going on? I think there must be a very large bird in the studio. <laughs> I don't know what it is over there, but you're a bloody good shot. It's... Can I have a go? <laughs> He's got me right in the bollocks. <laughs> look, have a look in there. Turn <laughs> Get it Look at that, Sam! <laughs> Have a look at it, swallow up! Now, as with Gary, I'm going to ask you a question from your book, which, as you wrote, you'll find a doddle. <laughs> if you get it right, your side wins. If you get it wrong, Gary's side win. OK, the question Can from your now? book is... Who wrote David Gower's cricket <laughs> quiz book? <laughs> It's your choice, but tell the truth or lose <laughs> the game. <laughs> Isn't there... Go what? for the truth, <laughs> mate. <laughs> <laughs> truth is, I've no idea. Can we have a clue? No. Yeah, it wasn't David Gower. <laughs> His name was Peter Allen. Ron Allen. <laughs> Dave, Dave Allen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid that's Mr. not good D. enough Allen. because you originally said Peter Allen and the name was Patrick Allen, so this oh, one is Gary Lineker's <laughs> team. <laughs> Jonathan, what's that? <laughs> First someone's carrying a pig on his shoulder. <laughs> what is it? That's what is that? <laughs> what is this? That's an arm! What sort of arm is this? <laughs> this is too big to be an arm. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know what happens with him. Oh, it's a big bloke, got chest and shoulders, big neck. I'm not going to. It's only a neck. Who 
First name is like someone the robot. Second name is Lily. If you were wild, you'd be, oh, I'm really... Langtree. No! <laughs> The pop star Williams. What's the first name? Someone Williams. Robbie, Robbie. Right, okay, second name, Lily. Langtree. No! <laughs> Robbie Lily. It's a perfume. Odor. Cologne. Odor, no, no! <laughs> You're not helping. Oh, yeah, help You're too bloody posh, that's your problem. You should get out more. Okay. Okay. Lily. 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 Lily, my next. Am I allowed on this team? Next one. Right. Lily! Mullen. No! Bring you will! I'm blanking in blank! You win! Lily! Who knows blanking in blank? I don't even know about blanking in blank! Why don't you watch the bloody TV like the rest of the country? I've got nothing to work with it! Lily Langtree? Who thinks of Langtree anymore? Half the people she's shown, they've been f***ing out of Lily Langtree! Lily Langtree? Your 90 seconds, uh, although it may be extended, <laughs> start now. How these men let themselves get out. <laughs> Hairy chest, Gary. Yeah, mine too. It's such a shame, you know. What? People like Just hit to... him! Hit him! Rory, what? Shit. Shut up. No, what is... I, I've got a f fat, ugly, hairy man over here. <laughs> you thought you was out. <laughs> Is it those, uh, what's Zed got This things? is, um, Vargas. Yes, correct, for three points. <laughs> and people wonder why The Guardian calls this the regrettable sports quiz. <laughs> Thanks for watching us for five years. We'll be back in the spring. That's if Gary can be bothered and David survives the cold snap. <laughs> My name's Nick Hancock. They think it's all over. It is now. <laughs>